Ready? Okay. What's up, guys? guys. Haley, Joe, Adam, Larissa, and, and together, together we're, we're traveling, traveling around Australia. In our old, old patrol <laughs> and camper trailer. And we made it to the snow, to the ice. Woo! Yeah, look at this. Join us this week. We are headed towards the coastline in South Australia. Sea lion colony. We're going to see the sea lion colony. Uh, Sejuna. Streaky Bay. Streaky Bay. There's a four drive sand dunes to hit and a couple of other secret places. So follow us along, we're on a budget, we're taking time off work, and um, yeah, we've got some months some months off, some time off and um, exploring Australia. So give us a thumbs up, really helps us out. Appreciate everyone watching, thanks guys. And, um, and we're not at the snow, we're at a salt lake. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like the video, thanks guys. Yeah, I'm over it though. Salt. Oh my gosh. That hurt. Oh. You didn't get that one. Come I on. did. I did. Oh, poor mum. Joe, you better say sorry to mum. Did you really get that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't finish it down. They smashed me Don't with it. No, but I, I smacked my hand real hard, a big chunk. Come over here, guys. So we just came down Crawler Range uh, track or road. Gawler. Gawler. Gawler Range. We just came down Gawler Range Road and uh, we're about to cross highway. Air Highway. So we can go left, yeah. south, or right, we can go north, but we're not like most people, so I see a dirt road in front. Yeah, it's on the dirt road. <laughs> dirt road it is. Streaky Bay, 58 kilometers. Streaky Bay, here we come. The back way. 
<laughs> Gravel roads. It's a bit of bull dust. Another dirt road. Love it. It's also a shortcut, less kilometres, less fuel, and it's a much more scenic way to drive. Where are we? Uh, Murphy's Haystacks near Kalka. 12 yeah. days from... Okay. Yeah, Murphy's Stacks. Murphy's Haystacks. Pretty cool. Something you got to see. The time to see something is when you're there. So you see something on the side of the road, pull up and have a look. That looks like a bone. Look at that. That's cool. That looks like a bone. I thought this was cool. Wow. Yeah. There's a quite a fair few more granites than I thought. Normally when you see them on um, YouTube of people's travels, there's only the three or four that you normally see. There's quite a fair few here. Hi. Definitely worth a stop and have a look. Hi, yeah, really worth it. Yeah. We've got toilets here and uh, picnic tables in the shade, so nice spot for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, first side of the ocean at 6,000 kilometres. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Been a long slog. I thought I saw a seal. Yeah. Just a bird. Yeah, we're getting close though. So I think this is Bairds Bay, the very northern part yeah. of Bairds Bay. We are at Point Labat Sea Lion yeah, Colony. Oh, uh, Colony. 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 We're about matter. to walk down. We're just waiting for Dad. Adam. Adam. Crank your pond. Crank your pond. And the views are just spectacular. You this is pretty incredible. I cranky. Cranky. Pants. <laughs> cranky. Pants. You say cranky, I say pants. Pants. No. Cranky. <laughs> <laughs> look, Joe. Look at that. <gasps> I can see one. Really? Yeah, he's like a big. Oh, oh yeah, there's some over yeah. there. See? Wow. Yes. Are they sleep? So Haley, this is something that you've wanted to see since we left home. The point point Labat. Um, Not since we've left home longer. Oh longer than since we've left home. So yeah, there's a there's pretty a cool. Pup. There's yeah. a puppy. Um, can you do some video on it too? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we don't do a lot of video on this because um it's hard. <laughs> we like the GoPro because it's easy. <laughs> so you'll probably see some shaky footage. But it's the best we can do.
It's so cool. If you come to South Australia, you have to go to the Point Labatt Conservation Park and check out the sea lions. But it is beautiful. They are just majestic. There they are. The struggle is real. What are you trying to upload? Just a little video to Instagram. It takes about seven minutes. Oh, yeah? I don't even know it would work properly. Keep stalling. Oh no. And you're trying to hold your phone up with your left hand while standing on your right foot. Yeah. And tapping on the steering so, wheel. I don't know. It's really hard to see if what posts are working, what YouTube things are working. <laughs> Stalls after like five seconds. I don't know if it's just. So another beautiful spot. We just ran the corner from the sea lion colony, hey? Yeah, yeah, we're doing fishing. Joe and Larissa are mad keen fishermen, so. Well, we we wish we could catch more. They're getting the gear out. I'm pretty sure I'm not doing this right. <laughs> you leave the covers on the hooks, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're environmentally friendly fishermen. <laughs> if you want to catch a fish, you actually so, um, have to use the yeah, covers. Yeah, beautiful okay. bay. The wind's supposed yeah. to pick up tomorrow, so we'll see how we go. It'll be our first windy night on the coastline um, so fingers crossed everything goes right but yeah we've got a beautiful spot all to ourselves free one in wiki camps i'll put it in below and um yeah fantastic it's gonna be a beautiful afternoon what a great day great day hands up one of a another great day another great day another great day <laughs> loving this we got a fish. oh you got a fish, a fish. hey oh, come on joe you got a Stuff down here, <laughs> I know that oh, was a bucket, Dad. Good work, buddy. Yes. It's a bit tricky with fish. how we caught him, though. Oh, okay. Look how you okay. caught him, Joe. All right, I'll go get the bucket. Oh, oh, I'm right. gonna get some water in there. Oh, right, go get some I water. Go get some water. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fish. What did you get? Hello, fishy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fishy Head. He's a bit small, though. How good's that? He's so cool. Look yeah. Him. Only caught a fish. Or well, she got a snag. Oh, yeah. oh, good! Hayley, come on! Good work, Hayley! Wow! <laughs> Keep wheeling it in! Walk backwards with your rod. Back to, back back to the shore. Rod. She caught that all by herself. <laughs> I'm going to need you to fill the bucket up. You want another one? <laughs> You're a real Rex hunt, you are. Gibbity yibbity, that's all, folks. <laughs> oh, it's so soft. Oh, how good is this? Oh. I'm going to run now. <laughs> Have a look at this. So we're just on this little peninsula and there's a loop road you can do. I'll put it in. And um, there's some cool stuff to see and um, one of it's the sand dunes. And like we've done the Simpson Desert, Morton Island, Fraser Island. But these sand dunes, wow. They are something else. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Good work, Joe. Good work. 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 Good work.
Lunchtime. Yeah, there's no, there's not a lot of wind here, so I'm like, this is a probably well, a good spot. Well, we're parked in the right direction from the wind. My That's coffee what it is. this morning was not as hot as I'd like, so yeah. Well, could've well, been. it's been a big day. We've only driven about <laughs> 25 kilometres since we left. Is it even 25 kilometres? <laughs> The time to stop is when you see something. You don't just keep driving past and then you think back, oh, we should have stopped there. So you see something, pull up, have an explore, even if it's just for five minutes. Yeah. Where are we, Dad? Um, <laughs> Fisherman's Paradise. Mm. Uh, another beautiful spot. The problem, the problem we're having right now is there is so much to see. We would never get around Australia if we stop at everything. So. We just got to pick and choose. We're going to miss a lot of things, like any other traveller. But um, such is life. But there's always um, plenty to see for the second lap, I suppose, or the third lap. Mm. Yeah, it's just oh gosh, it's just beautiful. You know, and like, and this is a cloudy day, so if I can only just imagine how blue this would be if it was a really bright, sunny day. Like, it's just spectacular. Spectacular. Whoa. <laughs> Just the views. Amazing. Wow, pretty spectacular. Amazing. So this is the granites. Um, it's past Point Westall as you do the Westall loop. Um, it's this whole area is spectacular. I am now officially in love with South Australia and the coastline. Yeah. And we've only started just Don't touching you... on part of it. It's just so it's beautiful. Nice. There's no people here. A lot of free camping. It's... Yeah. So much to see. We're definitely gonna have to come back. Sorry, the kids have just called us fun we, suckers. We probably, because... we probably could have spent six months in South Australia. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> don't touch, don't touch. Don't, don't touch. touch. Wow. <laughs> so in the uh, Shell server, we just filled up, but inside the servo, they got the world's biggest white shark replica. Uh, it's pretty cool. Joe loves sharks, so we had to stop him and see it. Oh, we're gonna fight. Yes. We're gonna fight on camera. Yes. Hello. Everything I'm doing is pissing out of So we're at Streaky Bay and we're just giving the car a bit of a wash. So we've just, um, before Smoky Bay, we've started heading towards Point Brown. There's quite a few different free camping options at Point Round, so we made the choice to turn off before Sejuna and before Smoky Bay and go have a look down here. Um, it was a good road until this point, now we're on a little sidetrack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to get free camp down here. Uh, probably do a load of washing this afternoon because we don't know when we're going to be stopping next and there's some rain coming in the next couple of days. So this is Brown Point, it's a free camp. It's just south of Sejuna. Um, but we gotta get some washing done. So, Joe, would you be careful? <laughs> Kids having a play. Um, yeah, so one of the things you gotta do when you're on the road is washing. So a good thing with this, uh, when we roll into somewhere <laughs> where there is, you know, washing facilities, we don't have bags and bags of wash and we might have one or two loads. We don't have to sit around waiting for it to wash or to dry. We can just pull up and do it when we need to do it and where we want to do it. So hopefully we'll have enough sunlight tonight to get most of it to dry. Yeah. If not, we'll put it out again tomorrow afternoon at camp. Yeah. And uh, we'll get water tomorrow morning at Sejuna before we cross the Nullarbor. Okay, so we're down at Brown Point. Yeah. Um, and we've just packed up, ready to go, and Adam started the car and heard a funny noise and um, a had a quick look. There's a strange kind of rattle. So what was it, Adam? Uh, just one of the exhaust brackets. Uh, one of the bolts has come off. 
So it's been open and closed a few times since the new exhaust went on with that issue we had with the with the uh, turbo studs breaking. So yeah, we'll just put a new bolt on. I've got I carry spare bolts and stuff, so just a matter of finding the right size. I think that one will do, and I'll get a washer. Um, yeah, easy fix. But yeah, you've got you know shows why you got to carry some spares. Little stuff goes wrong, and you know carry the right tools. I'd like to talk about our little argument too last night. Oh. Even if we don't post it, you know, like just just let people know, like we're being under pressure, cooking ourselves too much, and you know, it's all it's all come to a point where we sort of exploded and let it all out, and we sort of, you know, we're well, going to make some serious changes to the way I talk to you and the way I think the trip should go. Is it recording now? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, recording all of that. Yeah. So what mm. Adam's just said is that Adam's way is not always the way. No, it's <laughs> not. It's not. See, I, yeah. We, I mean, we, um, yesterday, getting to a point when, you know, when you go through town, you've got things that you got to do. Um, the kids make it difficult sometimes for you to focus and, and just to think straight. So bearing that fault. in mind. It wasn't your fault. It was a little thing. That because I'm under a lot of pressure, I put it on myself, the pressure, I erupted over a little thing where I shouldn't have. So... Yeah, I'm over it, though. You're over it? I'm like a fish. I forget <laughs> easily. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so look, probably the main thing is when you're travelling um, for an extended period of time, uh, I guess you've got to kind of be willing to compromise and listen to each other and you know generally one person's always right um but you know it works out okay So part of day-to-day -day life on the road is getting water, dumping the toilet, having fuel, and you should have got enough uh, water and it all takes time. So when you pull into a town, it's the first thing we do. Um, so I've dropped the kids and Larissa off at a park and um, I'll run around and get all the stuff that we need. Um, she usually does the food shopping, that's her domain. I'll just make sure all the supplies are up to date with everything else. Alright, so while I got you alone, just want to talk about what's been happening lately. I've just been really stressed with everything. It's, I don't know why. I've just got to calm down, relax, not let things get to me. Just little things. It's not the big stuff we're fighting over, it's the little stuff. And um, yeah, I just need to relax. Things aren't going to go to plan, things aren't going to go perfect. And it sh I shouldn't let it get to me, I should just go roll with it, take me time, slow down a little bit. And I think that's the biggest thing is we've been on the go so much, because our original plan, we were going to get to um, Lucky Bay, and we were going to have about 10 days in the area and just relax and have a holiday. We haven't had that part yet. So we're finishing work, and then the stuff with the coronavirus in Brisbane, it was just go, go, go. It was like madness. And um, we haven't stopped. We've had, there's been three places we've stayed more than one night. And of those, there's only been, you know, one with really nice conditions where we could kick back. But even then we were so busy. And that was Uluru. We were so busy seeing all the attractions. We really didn't get any rest. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting, getting to um, Lucky Bay and just chilling back and having a good break because we need it we, we've just been on the road too long and um yeah the little things we, we're messing them up and we're struggling with them and arguing over little things and um normally we don't so i think we just need a bit of a break in the road all right thanks guys thanks for listening so we're just doing our WA border passes. The most difficult thing in the world. You, you hit the back button 
or, or you open up a map to find out a distance and then it opens up completely. It just loses everything. You gotta go back to just, the start, start again. I just want this done, so I just... You gotta have your driver's license number, you gotta have a photo of one of your bills. You, they want your blood type, they wanna know if you're left-handed or right-handed. I, um, I did take a dump today. Your, your shoe size. Something like that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that question was in there. Yep, yeah. how many freckles are on your nose? Are your it's, freckles? Birthmarks. Um, <laughs> Yeah, are your wheels inflated on your car? Okay, stop. One sec. So, Alice Springs, Colgrass, Streaky Bay, Smoky Bay, Sejuna. Where else? Nullable. Uh, no, no, no. Where are we going? Where have we been? Well, we haven't life? been to Nullable yet, but we've been to Cooper Pedy. 14 days prior to our arrival. Yeah, Cooper Pedy was 14 days. Mm -hmm. Lambert Centre. There's the... nothing even there. I know, but they want to know. Uh, there was that big gum tree mm. on the side of the road. <laughs> The kids are really quiet now for the first time. Oh, we have to write this smoky bay, I suppose. Do they need to know every place? I just put a half a dozen in. Streaky bay, smoky bay, Sejuna Fowler's bay. Well, there's nothing. We're not going to. need to write anything about the sand dunes. I'll get back to you guys. Brown point. So, no trip through Sejuna is a real trip unless you stop at the uh, oyster bar and get some oysters. So, we're going to pull up. We've been busy shopping. Uh, getting fuel, beer. Uh, it's a big city, it's a big town, I should say. Um, they got everything you need. So, plenty of servos. And um, yeah, get some oysters, let's go. Reasonable prices on everything, too. Hey, yeah. Chips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's a big windmill, a comet. Just a free stop along the way. We're running really late. It's, um, it's about 5.30. We've got about an hour of driving and there's rain coming in about an hour and a half, they reckon. So you can see the skies are getting quite dark. Um, this will be our latest night getting to camp, but hopefully we'll have two nights, possibly three nights there. We might get the kayaks out and have a bit of a paddle and everything. So yeah, we'll just pull up here, have a look at this. The pink, not, pink lake was quite nice. I'm surprised how pink that, that was. So um, yeah, these dark clouds, they look a bit worrying to me.